I am just getting to my gynecologist's office and yeah, this morning the environ are arguing whether we want to do this NIPT test, this genetic, oh holy, this person driving really fast, scared me, uh, this genetic testing. I guess it tests, it's, or it's like a screen. It screens early to see if your baby's gonna have Down syndrome or like some chromosomal defects and also you can find out the gender a couple weeks early. So, me and Byron are like so unprepared for this whole thing. We were like, what is that? Since so I had to call my insurance and see if they cover it and my insurance has a really high deductible so um, they're not gonna cover They're not gonna cover until later on after I reach my deductible and the worst part about it is that my baby is due on January 5th that is right after the calendar year so the key the goal is to try to spend not that much money right now um, because I mean I'm basically not gonna hit my deductible until I give birth there's your baby Whoa. it's alive so alive. You see the heart beating right in there. See the baby moving. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. My doctor had recommended um, to just do the state test today instead of the NIPT because it basically tests for the same things and I'll get the results back in a month. And um, yeah, I was like, whatever you think. <laughs> it was cool to see that the baby has arms and legs and, you know, identifiable structures. Hi Byron, welcome home. This is your baby, here, take a look at your baby, here. I think when people watch my vlogs, they're always like, why don't you guys drive better cars? Aren't you rich? Listen, I give zero shits about what car I drive. <laughs> um, me and Byron are kind of similar in that way. Like, obviously, boys like toys, and he's kind of excited to get a Tesla, but I was like, get the cheapest Tesla. Like, I, I really, I think cars are such a waste of money. Um, so Byron's car is completely paid off, so I told him, you drive that until it dies. <laughs> And then we we'll probably need to get like a minivan or something once I give birth to a baby. And then use the comb. I can't believe this thing doesn't come with any brushes. Seriously, what am I supposed to do now? Great, Byron brought me Glide. Floss picks. But you won't have anything else. No, it's good, thank you. I can use it. I just need to get this stuff out. This is a poorly made product. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm just gonna <laughs> dig some of this stuff out and put it at the base. Right now, it's not going so well, Myron. Your wife's gonna look like a messed up freak. Actually, I think that if I had all my dental tools here, like all the brushes and micro brushes, this would not be that bad. But literally, all the stuff that I need did not come in here. Byron, I think this is the moment of truth. See if you did it right. Yeah. I'm just putting number four on a pad, and then I'll clean everything off. I'll take off the pad and clean off the pad. How does that look? Not too bad, huh? Wednesday, I got back from work. I'm watching Perio Polly. She's live. She's talking about how she became periodontist after she went to hygiene. She's a natural. My mother is here. Hello, mother. So, I just got a call from my gynecologist. I thought, that's weird. Why is she calling me instead of her assistant? Because last time I did blood work, she 
they, the assistant called and was like, Dr. Cargrove just wants me to tell you that you're all good except you have to take a vitamin D supplement. I waited for the gynecologist to call me back personally. So then I knew something was wrong. I knew mom. And apparently in my last blood test, the screening, it's a screening. It's like the statewide screening. Um, my baby screened for a one out of 79 chance of having trisomy 21. She says she needs to refer me to a genetic specialist and from there they'll do further testing and then we'll see if it has trisomy 21. That's not good news. That's not what I wanted to hear. I'm a, I'm a little emotional. Even though in my mind, as I speak, I know that the chances are low. But as soon as she told me, I was like, cool. I was like, okay, what do we do next? Okay, what do we do next? Okay, what do we do next? And then near the end of the conversation, I just started crying. <laughs> and I think it's because I'm pregnant and emotional. I think it's because I'm emotional. Not the best Wednesday news. On the bright side, we're getting our Tesla charger installed. That'll be, that's very good. And then on the bright, bright side, my mom is here and she's gonna buy me dinner. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Like anything I want. <laughs> anything you want, that's right. Whole wide world. Okay. Cool. I had to call Byron to tell him the news and he was like, are you crying? This is a great day, man, it was a great day. But on the bright side, every crown that I seated and every onlay that I seated was like perfect. Margins were perfect, contacts were perfect, occlusions were perfect, aesthetics perfect, all perfect. A good dentistry day, just not a good personal life day. Right, her? can't win them all. 